Hello YouTube, welcome to RV Daydream. Today we're talking about a bike that we've done a review of in the past, a different model, same company. I like this one. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. I apologize for the noise. We are in the springtime and we've got mowing going on, so you're gonna hear some noise here. However, the noise you're not gonna hear is the noise coming off this bike because it is a nice, quiet, electric e-bike from APAS. That's A-I-P-A-S. Uh, again, I think I said in the past video, I'd say it's artificial intelligence pedal assist. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, we got this delivered to us uh, from APIS relatively quick. They're selling this on uh, Amazon. And I'll have to say pricing wise, if this bike looks even close to what I think it's going to look like and it performs the way it looks like it's going to perform, this might be one of those buys that you're going to get some good bang for your buck. When you get the box, most likely it's gonna be FedEx that it gets delivered. Uh, be aware, it's a large box. It's it's pretty good size. Um, not as big as some of them I've had in the past. However, it is pretty heavy. You're talking about 82 pounds for the overall box, but the bike does not weigh that much. It's, it's not quite that much. If I'm not mistaken, you're gonna be in the 60 pound range, but it is a, a full-size bike. This isn't a folding bike. Uh, you'll see once we get it open, but I wanted to talk about um, APIS and our dealings with them in the past, uh, whenever we first were contacted them uh, about ooh, a, a year ago for their folding bike, they offer, you know, a few different e-bikes. And that folding bike, I first glance, I didn't think much about it. Um, although the specs look pretty interesting, I was really shocked whenever we got it. And that thing was, whew, it was quick. It was, it was more powerful than I thought. It was a, a good, comfortable ride, a nice step through design. So whenever they were telling me that they had this one available and it was actually a little bit more as far as the power is concerned, I, I, I thought, why not? I have to try this out. All right, you can see what it looks like in here and they do a pretty good job with packaging. You know, a lot of these companies have got this stuff down pat pretty well. Um, just a matter of foam and cardboard and they keep it pretty safe. Boy, this is a tall bike, I can already tell. This one's a little bit different than what I've experienced in the past. I put the accessory box all the way at the bottom. I don't know if you can tell there, but uh, right there is the accessory box and it required me to cut the box completely open. Looks like the contents here. Be careful when you got the razor, you don't cut anything important. We have a couple of pedals left and right, and they are cast aluminum um, alloy of some kind, not plastic. There's a couple of reflectors. Uh, believe it or not, reflectors show up a lot better than most headlights, so don't discount them. You have your tool kit, which inside the tool kit, we're gonna get um, Allen wrenches, standard Allen wrenches, and then your open end wrenches to help you with uh, the nuts. So pretty standard, 8, 10, uh, 15, and 18, and then assorted Allen wrenches, and then there is a small screwdriver handle for a Phillips screwdriver. Then you have the battery charger. This is awesome. It is a three amp charger. That is very nice. That is a good thought. And at this price point, you usually don't get a three amp and you get a two amp. So again, one of those things, these companies are stepping up and becoming even more competitive with each other. Here, I'm going to say it again. These bikes are getting more and more competitive. This is probably one of the best ones for the money. There's a lot of quality components in here. So let me go through the list as we take a look at this. First of all, the color, I'm colorblind, but it like changes. I know that may seem funny to some of you, but it, I can see color. I just can't necessarily identify it. And sometimes it looks the same. It looks really, there, there's times that it looks like a rosy color or something to me. Anyways, I, I'm not gonna say it's a shifting paint, but it's a very nice paint. Speaking of paint and what it's on, the frame, really beautiful welds. Everything is done very nice. I like that they've taken the time to try to hide the cables 
through the crossbar here and then going down into the frame. I mean, that's just a sign of quality whenever they're trying to hide stuff to make it look better aesthetically. They have good cable management here. Just overall, a great looking bike. Some of the components though that really stand out to me, 180 millimeter brakes. Now they are cable activated, but still 180 millimeter is a very, very good size. Why the brakes? Why 180 millimeters? Well, this thing has a little bit of power. <laughs> I'm gonna say a little bit. Uh, it's, it's above some of them that we've looked at that have been the same size. They list this as an 1100 watt peak motor. Now, what that means if you wanna compare it to other bikes is it's most likely a 750 or 800 watt motor, but peak, it puts out 1100 watts. And it's a sub brand of Bafang. What that means though, as far as power, is 90 newt meters of torque. I know that doesn't make sense to us Americans. We usually go by pound feet, but 90 is a higher amount for these bikes. They're saying that that will come at actually pedal assist one, um, which is, is pretty incredible. Now, just because I'm talking about pedal assist, a lot of people get confused. This has a throttle on it. It's a three quarter throttle. We'll show that to you in a second here. So you can run throttle only. That's the way almost all electric bikes are. But if you feel like pedaling, there is an assist that will help you get down the road a little bit easier than using just your legs. So the battery on this is listed as a 48 volt and it's 499 watt hour. And they say that they're Samsung cells, the 21700 Samsung cells. I don't know what that means. I know that the Samsung LG batteries are more expensive. They're better quality. They recover better. They last longer. They can go further before they deplete. Um, they can have, they have more life cycles over the lifetime of the bike. Um, speaking of which, uh, there is uh, overall the bike an IPX6 rating, which is, it can get wet. You can't submerge it. They don't want you to pressure wash it, but you can get caught in the rain. Just don't try to go through puddles that are above the motor. That's not gonna work for you. Again, it was 85% pre-assembled, which make it a little bit easier. There is a QR code. You can scan it to get your warranty started on this. Uh, they do have a one year quality issue warranty. And anytime you have any questions, uh, you can always call in, obviously. The display, it's a very bright day. I can read this extremely easy. Um, I, that's one of the things that I, I'm not sure of. Some of them really get caught up in this whole, hey, I've got a TFT display. Well, the display looks really nice as long as it's relatively dark out. Um, but this one you can see indirect sunlight, except for glare. I mean, if you have the sun shining directly on it, obviously it's gonna reflect quite a bit. And I still have the protective cover on there. So just to let you know, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, there's a notice here, it says to remove the speed limit, please go to the setting P08 in the owner's manual. I already did that. Um, it changed it to where it goes, you know, freewheel. I did 19 miles an hour and now it'll freewheel to 28 miles an hour. We'll have to see how that works out on the road. Uh, you can see also that they have um, easy to reach controls. You have a separate button for the headlight. I like that. A lot of the bikes you have to hold and press the up button or the power button or the plus button for it to turn on the headlight. I like the fact that this one you just push a single button. It does have a horn, obviously. A little annoying. It's going to scare some people on the bike trail, so be careful. People get annoyed about that. There's a lot of people on the bike trails that don't even want you on there in the first place. It does have adjustable suspension, so you can set the uh, rebound. You can lock it out um, if you want to run it solid. I, I haven't had a need for that myself. Um, good quality hand grips. They feel nice in the hand. It's a, again, I don't know if you can tell the color, but I swear it's got a different hue to it again. It's, it's amazing how many different colors this thing looks like. Okay, a couple more things. The headlight has four LEDs on it. It's very bright. It does have a decent tail light to it. It's not unbelievable, but it's pretty decent. Uh, the LED is bright enough to be seen. I've talked about this in the past. Um, we'll go ahead and do the brake light. You'll see that it flashes. The thing is, is when I, I just am not a big fan of the factory brake lights on these, you have to have a very strong flashing light 
when you're out there riding on the road uh, for people to see you. And that little light just doesn't do it. The headlight's nice. It can be seen at night. Uh, this light can be seen at night. It's just, um, there's a reason why they still include reflectors because reflectors can be seen at a much greater distance than these small LED lights. But the fact that they include it is nice. There are extra things you can buy for this. Go to their website, there's extra things. You can get a basket that'll mount to this. Um, you can also get a basket that mounts off the front here. Just a nice, nice component there. And going back to the display, one of the nice features that I love about these bikes, they have a USB port so that you can plug in your phone and power it off of this big battery that's on here. You, I mean, quite honestly, you know what the deal is. If you're going for a ride, you're most likely going to put a, a phone mount up here and use it either for a camera or a map um, or both. Uh, the other thing, brand name, these are Kenda tires. These aren't something cheap. Kenda's been around a long time. They are very good tires. For people who've been around mini bikes and mopeds and stuff like that, they're gonna know the Kenda name. That is a very good tire. Uh, it is a pretty aggressive tread on there considering, I mean, it's kind of like a, a knobby setup. And it is again, a 27 by two inch tire. So not a small tire, not a fat tire, but something in between. All this information I gave you isn't going to make any sense whatsoever unless you go check this out for yourself. So there's going to be a link down in the description. Click the link. It's going to take you right to this bike. If you decide you want to go with this, you're going to find that this thing is at time of filming only $800. I could not get anything close to this three years ago. Not even close for $800. $1,200 for sure, absolutely, but not $800. So I don't know how long that's going to last. Again, link is down in the description. Click on it. Go check it out. Oh, by the way, this isn't for short riders. I think Heidi would have a hard time with this. Uh, yeah, I mean, when I stand on this and I'm standing over it, I'm six foot tall, that seat is right where it needs to be. I'm flat footed, don't get me wrong. And I do have flat sole shoes on, but it's still, for Heidi, she can ride it. It's just, it would be, you know, a little bit uncomfortable for her whenever she's waiting at a light. So be aware, this is a tall one, but it's also a nice one. We're gonna take this for a ride and see what this thing's like. All right, so let's go ahead and power this on. Uh, go ahead and bump up the pedal assist all the way. Turn on the light because I want it on. We have it up on the seven because we always have our, our transmission set on seven. Let's see how this thing does. Why well, it's got some decent amount of pickup here. Got stuff in my pockets that I got to be concerned about. Oh, yeah. Let's go see what's this like. We can tell the bike is definitely a little bit smaller of a frame.
That's what I said. Yeah. Okay. If anything else, I'm going to give you the title of this bike. And it is the fastest bike for the money. So that's going to appeal to a lot of buyers. Because they're all about the speed. And they don't want to spend the money that's required. But I am six foot tall. I weigh 270 pounds. I did not pedal at all. And this got me to 28 miles an hour. That is very good for a bike that is considered a budget model. Links are down below for this. Click the links. It'll take you right to it. Thanks. And as always, we hope to see you out there. Bye.